In this video I'm going to uh, explain how to save and uh, use uh, elements and templates as uh, uh, are usable uh, for other pages. So for example let's try to uh, save a contact form we're going to add this edit this page with a page builder like I said before we have these uh, two uh, sections in the page builder this is for templates and this is for save saved elements now let's try to let's try to save the whole section so you can save individually everything also the section I'm going to save the section contact form section uh, unfortunately uh, you have to refresh uh, the page to have the saved element to reappear here so I'm going to reload the page as you can see it's right here you can delete it if uh, you don't need it anymore so we'll assume you want the contact form to appear in uh, multiple pages so I'm going to create a new page yes Testing page one. Enable the page builder, publish the page, and edit the page with the page builder. Now let's uh, let's just add a section. That's so that we can. Uh, have a separator here because uh, uh, it looks a bit odd to be like this I just want to have a distance and um, I don't know let's try to add a custom container uh, I'm sorry a, a custom subheader we'll place it here uh, to have a I don't know, uh, to make this page a bit beautiful, a bit nicer. And now I'm going to go to the saved elements and drop here the contact form. As you can see, it's perfectly uh, replicated, like uh, in the contacts page. I'm going to publish it and we'll keep. We'll doing the same stuff for other pages that you need the contact form to be displayed it's basically an easy way to an easy and faster way to uh, have uh, the same element on uh, multiple pages now on the other hand you might want to uh, completely duplicate a page you can use uh, plugins such as uh, uh, duplicate uh, page I think there's a plugin called like that which uh, basically duplicates the page but on the page builder side you can uh, uh, save the page let's save this page this new template sorry uh, tem template one I'm going to save it and let's create a new page, a new point page. Testing page 2. We're going to enable the page builder and let, let's edit the, this page with the page builder. As you can see, it's empty. And let's try. Oh, sorry. You have to click it, not drag it. And you have a prompt here uh, which asks if uh, you, are you sure you want to load the template. 
usually there's no risk at all it will just be added at the end of the page so if you already have uh, several elements they will not get overridden they will, they will just get uh, uh, appended so I'm going to click yes and as you can see the page is fully replicated I'm going to publish and hit the view page yes leave this page and that's about it now going back if you have uh, suggestions for uh, these uh, two uh, features of the page builder don't be afraid to ask we uh, we like feedback we want to improve uh, the page builder as much as we can so uh, please do share so thank you for watching and see you in the next uh, video thanks